Animals are important in vaccine development research, and I'll give you an example. So I was fortunate enough to be part of a team here at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia that developed the rotavirus vaccine. Now, at the time that we started to do our work here at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, there wasn't a lot known about rotaviruses. It had only been discovered to be a human uh, pathogen or a cause of human disease in 1973. I started my work here in 1980, so it had only been around for about seven years. And um, so there was much that wasn't known about the virus. So, for example, we didn't know which gene or genes of the virus made proteins that cause the child to have diarrhea or vomiting or fever. We didn't know which gene or genes of the virus made proteins that evoked neutralizing antibodies or the kinds of T cells that could kill virus-infected cells. We just didn't know any of that. In order to answer that question, we need to make these combination viruses that had genes from, for example, a virulent strain or a strain which could cause disease in mice versus a, a strain that didn't cause disease in mice. And we need to have strains that were of one serotype or a different serotype. And by serotype, I mean that, that uh, they were distinguishable by uh, antibodies in the circulation that could, could neutralize the virus. So we didn't know any of that. We didn't know which were the genes that caused diarrhea, which were the genes that evoked protective antibody responses. The only way to know that was to make these combination viruses and then test them in thousands and thousands of mice. When we did that, we then at least had a much better idea as to what were these, these diarrhea genes and what were these protective genes. And then when we, we uh, ended, started extending those trials into children, um, and the way that typically works is you start with adults who've clearly already been exposed to this particular virus, rotavirus, and then you work your way down to, uh, to older children and younger children, and eventually uh, babies who hadn't been exposed to the virus. We had a lot of information in hand. We could have never done what we did in thousands of mice in babies. It wasn't feasible, and frankly, it wasn't ethical. And so I think in this case, these mice uh, helped ultimately to save these children's lives now that this vaccine, which has been licensed in 2006, has reduced the incidence of rotavirus disease in the United States by 80 percent, is now saving lives in, in not only this country but in the developing world. I think uh, having a small animal model, a small mammalian animal model like mice, enabled us to do that.